Today we are going to be going on the Parade of Homes. We have always done this ever since I was a kid and we have continued to do it at least once if not several times in March. And it's always so fun to see the huge homes that you always kind of wonder what's inside them but this is your time to actually get a peek inside and they're always crazy some of the things that some of these places have. So I'm going to take you along with me so you can see all of the fun new Parade of Homes in Minnesota this year. The first home we went in was $1 million. It had five bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. It was 4,797 square feet. I loved the huge kitchen and how high the ceilings were. It had a tiny butler's pantry and a large dining room. The master bedroom was big, but I didn't like the carpets upstairs. I would have liked them to be wood floors better. The bathroom was nice, and it had a large tub. The other bedrooms were pretty big as well. The entertainment room was a nice inclusion. Downstairs, it had a living room, a bar, a bathroom, and the last bedroom. The second home was $730,000. This one was four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. It was 2,856 square feet. I love to open the main floor plan was, and it also had a bunch of natural light, which was great. The kitchen was nice and bright and had a bunch of workspace. The downstairs wasn't finished, Upstairs, it had a laundry room. It also had an entertainment room. And the bedrooms were up there as well. The master bedroom was smaller than the first place, but it was still big. The master bathroom was very similar to the first place. The next home we went to was $1.3 million. It had five bedrooms and five bathrooms and a sports court. The kitchen was huge and I liked the open plan with the living room. There was also a lot of sun. There was also a sunroom and a deck when you go downstairs. There is a bar and a living area. As well as an at-home gym. 
It also has the sports court, so you can play basketball even in the winter. I don't know how much people actually use those once they move in, but this place has it. This one also had a bedroom down there. I did not get to film the upstairs at this one because there was too many people wandering around and I didn't want to get them on film. This last place was the most expensive at $1.4 million. It was five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and 5,156 square feet. This one also included a sports court. This one had my favorite kitchen out of all of them. I loved the green color with the golden hardware, along with the massive island. It had an office right off the kitchen along with a sunroom. It was a weird day weather-wise. One minute it was sunny and the next it was snowing and it kept going back and forth all day. Downstairs, they continued on the green at the bar. There was a living room down there as well. The sports court was even bigger than at the last place. The dining room and living room was pretty. Upstairs, the master bedroom was big and it had a huge window. The bathroom was set up very nicely. And the closet was very large. This place also had an entertainment room. All the other bedrooms were pretty big as well. If you liked this, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.